What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix an iPhone, iPad or iPod touch that won't power on anymore. You know, if it has software issues and also how to extract data from it using a program called Phone Rescue by iMobi. Now, if you want to get the program, it's available in here on their download page for both Windows and Mac OS and it's compatible with most Mac OS and Windows versions. Now, some of the things this program can do are actually quite great. And one of them is to actually back up parts of the uh, iOS device so for example, if you want only your photos or only your photos in contacts and stuff like that, it allows you to do that while iTunes basically backs up everything and restores everything and it doesn't allow you to extract data from it on the computer. So this program in here is much more advanced than iTunes and it does work pretty well. Now I have in here the macOS version for today, but you can also get the Windows one as I said. And if you need support for it, their support program is actually quite good. They do have pretty quick uh, response time, so this is actually good. Now the program itself looks like this when you start it. It says from rescue. I have the latest version available in here and I'm going to use an iPad mini 4 that is no longer powering on. It shows the um, Apple logo and that's basically it and uh, I'm going to use it with this program but if you're installing it on a Mac you're going to get a DMG file in here and of course the DMG file contains the installer which you have to double click and as you can see here you have two options click to recover iOS data or click to recover Android data. So yeah, Phone Rescue supports Android devices as well, right on your Mac. But if you press the iOS in here, it's going to take a couple of seconds to set up the environment for your iOS device and then you will be able to run the program. Now let's do that. So basically I have the program in here. The iPad is connected in DFU mode because it wouldn't start, it wouldn't work. If I wanted to do data recovery, if the iPad would actually power on, I can go here to recover from iOS device and of course you can recover delete stuff and that's actually quite cool then you can recover it from a backup if you have iTunes backups you can actually open them and recover the data which iTunes surprisingly doesn't even allow you to do in 2020 which is actually odd and then you can recover from iCloud if you want to do that I'm going to actually rescue the device you know fix the device because it's no longer powering on past the Apple logo now you should keep in mind that this program cannot fix hardware issues obviously if your problem is actually caused by software issue for example it's stuck in a boot loop or in recovery mode with the iTunes or computer logo or in DFU mode or in widescreen blue screen stuff like that then this may help you fix it but if it's a hardware issue it won't work obviously now there are three options in here repair iOS system which would fix Apple logo frozen iPhone device in recovery mode and stuff like that then we have the remove lock screen passcode and then of course you have the recovered screen time passcode now I'm going to use the repair one which is suitable for my case uh, because this iPad doesn't power on anymore I'm going to press the arrow in here and here we have two different modules standard mode and advanced mode in standard mode is going to try to preserve your data because it tries to update it to the latest version to fix iOS without removing your data but if that fails and if that doesn't work you can use the advanced mode in here which will wipe the whole device which unfortunately removes your data but it has a greater chance to work if your iOS is too damaged to be fixed by the standard mode I'm going to actually use advanced mode and I'm going to press the arrow in here it says in here it cannot access your device info please connect your device in this case I have to actually get the device and I'm going to connect it okay so as you can see it works if you put it in uh, recovery mode and it says in here it's an iPad iPad mini and we can update it to 13.4.1 because this is the version compatible at the moment. However, if you do happen to have an IPSW file for your device with the latest iOS version or one that is signed, you can actually specify it from here if you press select. And if you cannot download for some reason in the program, you can press here to get the link in your browser, which is pretty cool. But in my case, I'm going to press download in here and it's going to download the firmware for this device. Now, depending on your internet connection, this may take from a couple of minutes to a couple of hours. So we have to keep that in mind the firmware is actually like three gigs in size so if you do have a pretty bad internet connection this may take time and in my case it's not the best so I'm gonna be right back once the file is actually downloaded uh, your device may reboot a couple of times in between don't worry you can just put it back in recovery mode after the download is finished and as I said I'm gonna be right back all right so after the uh, download is complete you can see that it says in here restoring iPad software now if you reach this point it means that the device is starting to restore and of course 
the uh, iOS will be updated, but at the same time, it also means that you should not unplug your device. It also says in here, please don't unplug your device before the iOS repairing process finished. So at this point, you can see that even the uh, stop button has been grayed out because you are at the point of no return. The uh, device already started to restore, so it wouldn't be safe to unplug it at this point. So just make sure that your battery is indeed charged on your laptop as well if you're using a laptop and of course on your device and do not unplug your device until this one finishes. It says in here 4%, it goes pretty fast at this point and uh, after this is complete your device should start up normally. So we're waiting for the device to complete the restore process and I'm gonna be right back. Alright so it says in here restoring 99% complete. You will see the Apple logo of course at this point and uh, after the restore is complete your device will reboot. Alright so at this point the device has restarted and it shows the Apple logo and it says in here your iPad is connected and it says in here on the background that iOS repairing completed. So basically that's it. It says you can restore the data in your iTunes backup to your device. Click here. Now I don't need to do that. Basically at this point the uh, device is fixed and it does power on. Now as I said, if you want to get the phone rescue program, it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. And of course, if you also need to learn how to use the program, there's the how-to page in here, which helps you with everything you need. For example, iOS articles and Android and cloud and stuff like that. And they do have tutorials for both Mac and Windows. So check out their website as well. Links will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.